Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed five-minute podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. You're listening to Moral to the Meme. Moral to the Meme. Mondays with your host, Robin Nicole. Robin Nicole. The Inspiration Specialist. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. It is Moral to the Me Mondays, where it is also simultaneous with our blog post. So it's also Blogcast Mondays, where the meme that I talk about is also posted on the blog. So you can get all of the text and content from that, and you get to actually see the visual. So I'll encourage you guys, hit the link beneath, excuse me, beneath this episode, and you can get linked up with it. Hit Blog and Robin, and you'll find the photo on there. Now, let's just get started. If you guys have been listening to Moral to the Meme, pay attention to how most of them are about relationships. Now, that was not done on purpose, but when I started the series a few years ago on Instagram, it was really geared toward that. And that, and some, and some of them are not, but 80% of them are relationship-based. And so with that, I, I just laughed earlier. I'm like, oh my goodness, I've been doing this on Mondays, but it's also considered Man Crush Monday in the social media world. And I'm like, wow, like it always kind of geared towards some type of relationship, husband, wife, spouse, single, married, that kind of thing. So when I finally was able to look at it, I was like, man, this is really cool. And again, it's all random. It's already, you know, it's already uploaded. So I really like it. I did it that way on purpose. So when it comes up and I have to speak on it is because I feel that's what would, what it was supposed to be. I didn't necessarily hand pick it for that day. And it's usually an all time word for at least one person. So with that being said, guys, I want to tell you guys what the scripture is for today. And each moral to the meme, if you are new to this uh, podcast, each moral to the meme has a scripture and we have a little storyline behind each photo. Today is a very beautiful photo, one of one of the best couple pictures I've ever seen on Instagram. And I mean, we've seen thousands of pictures, but this visual is so epic and it is so outstanding. I remember when I saw it, I was like, I got to use this for a meme like this is there's no way I can't use this photo for moral to the meme on this topic. And the scripture that I used was Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. And the scripture simply says, where there is no vision, the people perish. Now, let me tell you why this this goes with it. And again, this is why I want you guys to go check out the actual visual, because then you'll see it'll all really make sense to you. But it was really cool because the photo is a couple holding hands and they're in this building. Right. And there's a glass in front of them, of course. And they're looking out into the city, almost like the city skyline, but it is absolutely incredible. It looks so pretty. It looks Photoshopped, but it's actually not Photoshopped. And it was just so powerful. And I can remember when I first saw it. I know you're like, well, the right division, I mean, the, um, without vision of people perish, that's not necessarily like a relationship scripture. But oh, yes. Yes, it is. Because. People think about you and your mate. Think about who it is that you feel God is calling you to be with. I mean, that is the person that you're going to be coupled with. And if you two do not have vision, the people will perish. The relationship will perish because you get together to be holy. You should already be happy as a single person. You shouldn't be getting married for someone to make you happy. So the whole premise of the marriage is to come together to give God glory, because as the Bible talks about, you know, two is better than one. So I definitely really, really felt some type of weight when I came across that photo because it just made all the sense in the world to me. And I talk a little bit about how, y'all, you know, we want the person that God has for us. And most of us do if we don't already have that person. But something that really sticks out to me is, you know, how we would say all of the fish in the sea. 
And something I had to think about even back then when I wrote this was, you know, when we serve God, we Christians, we actually believe that there is we're someone's rib and he's out there and all of these things that God has promised us in his word. You know, all the fish in the sea doesn't really apply, because if we stick to what it is that God is telling us to do through all the ups and downs, all the relationship problems, all of the things you go through, you'll have some great wisdom on really being in position for the person that God actually has for you. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of times it's not what you're necessarily thinking. It's not necessarily panning out. And, you know, picture perfect like you thought it might have been. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of the commentary underneath. And it says, you know what? When you take your hands off of it, when you take your hands off of trying to pick and choose and really manipulate the situation with the person you think you want. When you take your hands off of it and you let him do it, the whole connection becomes undeniable. Everything just starts to fall into place. All of the pieces just add up. And even then, God gives us free will to choose. So at the end of the day, if it comes down to it, you know, it's, it's just really what your ultimate desire is. Now, if your ultimate desire is to please God, then you will end up with the person that he has for you. Now, if your ultimate desire is to please yourself, then you can end up in a situation with somebody that looks pretty on pictures, but they actually are not speaking to your spirit and not speaking to the to the king in you or to the queen in you. And it's just somebody who's a passerby and you end up wifing them up or becoming, you know, uh, making them your husband. And it's really not the will of God for your life. So I talk about much more, you know, much more in depth. So I want you guys to make sure you go check it out again. Blog and Robin is uh, hit the link beneath this episode. You can go to unwired to as well. And that'll give you a little bit more commentary on it. But yeah, it is man crush Monday. And I know a lot of you ladies who are listening, you may have somebody you crushing on. You may desire to have someone to be crushing on. But I don't know why I feel led to say this, but I'm just going to say this for you today. Now, it may sound corny to some of you. I actually, you know, it is what it is. If you think it's corny, I ain't mad at you because it might be to you. But this is what I'm going to say to you. As long as there's nobody there, listen, just enjoy the time that you have with God. I'm not going to be all goofy and be like, well, God is, you know, that's my man crush. Jesus, my man crush. Yeah, I'm not doing all of that. I'm not really into that like that. Nah, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think. One of the things I'm I'm realizing in my life as the seasons are changing quickly and that word we've been hearing for over a year and intensely in the last few months about accelerations and suddenlies. Let me tell you all something. You don't see it right now because you're in it and you're feeling like, oh, my God, it's taking forever. Where is my person? Listen, y'all, while you're single, enjoy that time with God. I cannot tell you enough. How many times, my good girlfriends, we all started out single and they ended up getting married before me. And they're like, roll, like, girl, enjoy yourself. Live your best life. Fly all around the world. Stay up all night. Walk around your house like you feel like it. Do whatever you want. Because they say you pray and you pray and you're by yourself. And then all of a sudden, the Lord blesses, blesses you with that spouse. And you're not doing things by yourself anymore. So you're not going to have all of the time that you think you have. So it seems great and it seems cool and you want to have that person come in. But a lot of the things that you do, you're going to have to edit, not edit yourself and be a a, a lesser version or an inauthentic version of yourself. Not at all. But your time is going to be different. And I talk to a lot of my girlfriends who are exceptional. I'm blessed. Every girlfriend that I have that's that's somebody that I personally know, exceptional mothers. I know some incredible phenomenal mothers. If you are one of my girlfriends and you are a mother, baby, I see you. You are incredible. You are awesome. And I see what you guys do. And a lot of times when I, when I do talk to the ladies, they tend to say, I don't have as much time. So that's why it's beneficial. And I like to tell you guys how you can implement still having time with God with your Bible app and playing it on your um, radio or on your phone or while you're working out or cooking or even changing a baby or doing whatever. So You know, I just wanted to say that to you. So I know, again, I know you you probably, you might think it's corny, but if it's Man Crush Monday, like I said, I'm not about to say all of that about make Jesus your man crush and God your man crush. I'm not doing that, but I am going to say this. While you have that space open and you want to be crushing on somebody, you want to say, oh, that's my man. He my man crush every day. Really and truly, I'm not going to say man crush, but God is your uh, he's going to get you to your man crush every day. And then when he get there, he's still going to do it every day. So I guess my point is this, put all of your, whatever into him every day, whether somebody's there or not, 
Okay, so God crush Monday every day if you feel like it. But seriously, like all jokes aside, y'all, I hear it too much. And it, and I'm at that point in my life where when it, when God keeps sending it to me repeatedly, I like to take heed to what that uh, what that wisdom and knowledge is because it begins to check in my spirit. So, sis, I don't know who you are that needs to hear this because this is specifically for women. Please enjoy yourself. Please stop tripping and obsessing and wasting four and five hours on phone calls with your girlfriends about these guys that don't exist or who don't treat you right like just kind of cut that out you can take those four hours and if you feel like i'm tired of praying i feel like i'm praying and and god knows that too y'all so don't don't feel bad about that either god knows that you will go through those times of man i feel like god not hearing me i can't believe this blah 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 you're going through these emotions well listen if you do feel like that take those four hours instead of emoting about somebody who's not even respecting you or loving you or doesn't even know you exist take that time and pray for your girlfriends pray for your guy friends pray for the for humanity pray for your friends who are married with children and and pray blessings on them you know what i'm saying because you don't want to waste your time because you want something to happen or for someone to come and then they come and then you're like scrambling because things are happening so quickly you're like oh my god he's doing this oh my god it's going that she's doing this he's doing that and it just turns into this thing and then you wake up one day and you're like oh my god i wish i had my single time again don't let that be you you know begin to really enjoy yourself and you know what now that i'm thinking about it i want you guys i want you to hit the link below the episode for queen me if you're my girls for the ladies and you know what I, I welcome the fellas to listen to it also because it's just things that women that you that may surprise you about women that I think may be uh, kind of a cheat sheet for you I'm just gonna do your silent right now fellas just go ahead and check out Queen Me Too because it's really it's really gonna run into you about women some things you may have some questions about and you're gonna be like wow I didn't even know women went through that so it's kind of a cheat sheet ladies don't be mad because guess what there's also the King Me series, so you can hit the link right under that one, and you can check out the King Me series too, and you can hear some things that they go through. So, I just want you guys to be encouraged, and don't forget, just because somebody's cute and fine and all of this stuff, yo, that don't make them your spouse, yo. You know, don't just go get with somebody because they have money. Don't just go get with somebody because they look good on pictures. Don't look, don't go get with somebody because everybody bucking you up to talk to them. Get with somebody. That God says is your somebody. That's the somebody you get with. Don't get with somebody random. Don't worry about no time clock. I just saw something today where a lady had been waiting to have babies and she just bust up and had triplets. So the Lord redeemed the time and gave her all the years she thought she lost and she still got the same amount of kids she wanted. So let God be God. Okay. For some of you listening right now, go ahead and book that trip. What are you waiting for? Go on the trip. Stop hanging around thinking somebody going to come. You might meet the person on the trip. Go on a trip. You know, the four hours you're sitting there, you know, complaining about somebody who's not there yet. You can go take yourself to dinner, go treat yourself to dinner and you can sit there and you can meet him right there. Some you can bump right into somebody. The opportunities are endless. But if you are stuck in the rut of believing that, you know, I just want this person. Oh, my God. I just can't wait. God, where's my person? You can completely miss him because the enemy will have you inundated with thoughts of him. And what you think he'll be and why he's not there. And you completely miss the blessing that God is trying to give you in the now. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to be that person. Don't be the person who misses it for some foolery. You know, because it's just so much more for you out there. And God can still be having you experience things and go through things while you're single. So please take heed to that. I hope you guys like today's moral to the meme. And if you did, make sure you hit me up. Download the episode, pass it on, save it, and make sure you join me tomorrow. If you've been checking me out last week, guys, I started the uh, declarations, seven days of declarations. Tomorrow, I am checking in. I told you guys I did a surprise just out of the blue live. Y'all know I might do a live once a year. I don't really do them like talking about it. I'm trying to do more eventually at some point. Uh, baby steps, by the way. <laughs> but check it out tomorrow, and I will give you. I will tell you guys this, just to give you some confidence and some encouragement. If you're hearing this now, you're like, man, I started the first day or the first day or two, and I, I stopped doing the declarations. I've already gotten calls. I got a phone call today, actually. I kid you not. And the person said the declarations have already begun to manifest. God has already begun to do it for them. And I'm gonna tell y'all, you can call it whatever you want to call it. OK, call it whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, the Bible talks about, you know, visualizing things. And that's speaking those things that are not as though they were. OK, the Bible talks about um, 
You have not because you ask not. People say, well, say it. You know, say it is going to come to pass. Okay, he said, let there be light, and there was light. What are you not saying that you're waiting for? Okay, what are you not saying? So that's why if you have not, make sure you check in with me tomorrow. And I'm also going to dip back in tomorrow and pop up with another live. Just to check in with everybody who joined me last week and just to see what the climate is, if anybody saw any movement. And I did also give you the disclaimer. This is not a magic trick. This is not Santa Claus. This is not woobity woobity and bam, here's God. No, it is not nothing like that. It is basically you are beginning to set the tone because when you decree something and you declare something, then it shall be established. I want you to take a moment when we hang up, I mean, hang up, Lord Jesus, (laughs) when we get off of this episode and go look up the word establish. Okay. Go look up the word establish and you will see what happens when you begin to say the things that line up with the will of God for your life and you believe him at his word for it. You're going to see what happens when it gets established. You literally get it. So a big thing for you to remember, again, if you just want to catch up real quick, that's why I kind of deviated to this because you might be listening today and say, man, I stopped doing it. Go back and check my page, y'all. Comb through over the last week. I talk about it. And just if I have any podcasts, any pop-up messages, any videos, just go back and check them out, y'all, so you can get caught up and you can get ready for tomorrow. Because even if you didn't do it this past week, join me tomorrow. You can start tomorrow. There is no time limit. There's no timeline. And again, the thing that you have to remember about this entire scenario is simply this. It's not like something is going to happen overnight. It's not like, boom, everything is going to roll out in seven days. Sometimes that is the word of God, though. Sometimes he'll give you a number. He'll tell you how many days. He'll be specific and even give you a time. He did it to me before. I will do a podcast on that. But I tell you this. If you're not doing anything, the person who's at least taking the time doing it once a day is getting a lot further than you are. So you need to change your narrative, begin to speak life and do things a little bit differently so that you can see a different result. Okay, so I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are, too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at I'm Wired to Inspire dot com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to the inspiration specialist dot life or I'm wired to inspire dot com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.